So for sandwich number one, we have on hoagie rolls, some spicy mustard, provolone cheese, and some out of focus salami and pepperoni. I'm just toasting it up. Some tomatoes, some cucumber slices, a little homemade Italian dressing, some olives, some onion, and some banana peppers. And sandwich number one in our month of sandwiches, the copycat Subway Italian sub, and my husband requested some plain sun chips on the side. Okay, it is days four and five of sandwich month, and this is meatball mix that I have made. So it has ground beef, Italian sausage, some sauteed onion, some minced garlic, breadcrumbs soaked in milk, Italian seasoning, red pepper flakes, uh, cracked black pepper, salt, and some eggs for binder, and I think that's it. <laughs> I just fried up a couple test tiny little meatballs to taste, and we liked them, so I'm just letting the mixture rest for a little bit before I turn it into meatballs. I also have just some marinara left over from, well, it's pizza sauce technically, but it kind of doubles as that, and I'm just going to use it as the sauce for these subs. And I'm also going to turn this yellow squash into zucchini chips. This is day seven. We're having cheeseburgers with sweet potato garlic fries and some jicama cabbage coleslaw. Mm. Double bison patties, wild boar bacon, cheese, lettuce, mayo, ketchup, mustard, pickles, little red onion, little tomato, and some parsnip fries. So I have some tiger bread, or Dutch crunch bread, I believe it's called. I'm just going to spread a little bit of romesco. Romesco is amazing. It is roasted pepper, 
pureed with hazelnuts, olive oil, a little lemon juice, a little garlic, a uh, little red pepper flake, and it is so delicious. It's kind of like a vegan mayonnaise, actually. And on top of that, I'm just going to put a roasted boneless chicken thigh. I previously roasted it. And a piece of mozzarella so that it'll get all nice and melty. And I'm just going to put this in the oven. And I've got some cream of tomato with pepper soup stewing away. I'm going to puree this and add some cream and it'll be all ready to serve up. Romesco on the top bun, and some basil leaves. Unfortunately, this was the best I could get. <laughs> I think it's just not really the right time of year for fresh basil. Not really the time of year for fresh tomatoes either, but we're desperate. And I can't wait to tuck into that. Okay, we are getting on the home stretch here. I have formed all these falafel that I have made from scratch from dried chickpeas. And they're finishing up their 15 minute rest so that I can fry them. And here are all the vegetables. Some homemade tahini dressing. And then ordinarily I would make my pita and hummus homemade, but I mean, I was already making falafel and ain't got time for that. So store-bought hummus and pita. And now we're into kind of the whole inspiration for this entire sandwich month. It is my husband's birthday today, and this is one of his favorite sandwiches. It is a pressed steak sandwich. And I kind of dropped the ball. I was going to film myself sort of making this and putting it together, but I did it really early this morning because you have to press it in the fridge for several hours before baking it. And I just forgot. <laughs> so anyway, I just took it out of the oven. It's basically a round uh, crusty loaf and then you scoop out the insides and then you put in a cooked ribeye steak, some bacon, some sauteed onions and mushrooms, baby spinach, uh, Swiss, and cheddar cheese. Well, let's cut it open and see what that cross section looks like.
Mm, the steak is still medium. That is awesome. So I made, uh, this is actually a reduced version of it. Uh, the version that's on Tasty uh, is like for six people, but I used a smaller round because it's just us. the grand finale of sandwich month I'm going to finally make a cubano sandwich I have heard of these my husband and I have been wanting to try them for years and finally I'm making it so first I made Cuban bread just came out of the oven this is a slow cooked pork shoulder that I roasted yesterday I'm just gonna gently reheat it before assembling the sandwich some ham from the deli pickle Swiss cheese, and this is mustard, mayo, and a little cayenne pepper. Extremely simple sandwich. I have high hopes though. On the twelve days of sand which my husband got from me Twelve Cuban salmis, eleven cuts of crunch and ten That damn salmis, nine for lock of fry and eight my knees and duck and seven BLTs and four and six romescos chicken Five pineapple rings, four turkey swiss, three burgers, two meatball subs and the Thank <laughs> you. 